Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mehtab Alam and I am discussing about maintaining patient record. Patient chart, a standard chart information. Doctor's diagnosis and treatment plan. This is one of the important information which should be included in the patient chart. Under this information, treatment option and final treatment list. Instruction to the patient. Medication prescribed and comments or impressions. Everything should be included under doctor's diagnosis and treatment plan. Operative reports, follow-up visits and telephone calls. These are part of the continuous patient record. Document call made to and from the patient. Informed consent form. Under informed consent form, verify that the patient under a stand procedure, outcome and options. Patient may withdraw consent at any time. Hospital discharge summary form. Under this form, put information summarizing the patient hospitalization, instruction to, for follow-up care and physician's signature. Correspondence with or about the patient. All written correspondence regarding the patient. Rega record date item wise received on the actual form. Information received by fax. Then in case of this, request an original copy. If not available, make a photocopy of the fax. Dating and initial, initial, initially. Be sure the date to date and place your initial on every place in the chart. And what section of the patient record contain information about smoking, alcohol use and occupation? The answer is information about smoking, alcohol use and the occupation is a part of patient past medical history. Initiating and maintaining patient record. Initial interview like completing medical history form, then documenting test results, then documenting patient statements and then exam examination, preparation and vital signs. Maintain patient privacy during interviews. Follow-up. Under follow-up, transcribe note the doctor dictates. Post result of laboratory test and examination. Record all telephone communication with the clients and record all medical or discharge, discharge instructions given to the client. And the question is, in addition to the transcribing notes the doctor dictates and posting lab results, what are two other follow-up tasks the medical assistant might be required to perform as part of the follow-up to a patient appointment? And the answer will be the medical assistant may have to record telephone calls with the patient as well as medical discharge dis distractions given to the patient.